Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Balin and this is Create. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics on how you can make your own elevator system, as well as you can use that to make it a quarry, or a quarry elevator. Let's start off with the basics uh, on how you can start with the verticality of getting your elevators and elevator quarries up and running. We're going to start with this, a gear shift. It's a very simple recipe that is going to make it so that when you basically, uh, this is giving it power. Right now I've got a creative motor hooked up to it and a, uh, you know, one of these rope pulleys hooked up to the other end. But when you turn it on or, or another direction, on or off in redstone, it will start spinning in one direction, then spin in the other. That's pretty much how it works. Uh, and it's pretty good, but when you use the lever, it's either on or off. You can't, you know, change that when you're all, if you attach this rope pulley to something all the way at the bottom of a shaft, it does not allow you to do that. But that's where the next part comes in. One of these, a powered toggle latch, which requires some stone of some sort, uh, a lever and a redstone torch. Then you can use it to kind of alternate a redstone signal. So to give an example, it has its own lever on it. So yes, I can switch this lever and it works just like a regular lever does, but it has the extra ability when being fed a signal. Now it only comes in and out. There's no side connections or anything like that, as you can see here with the redstone. But when you click on this, you notice the redstone stays lit. And then I click this again, stay, and it turns off. And this is just a button. So if you combine that with something like a redstone link, you can therefore get yourself quite a combination of these three items. So to give a little further example, again, I've got a motor hooked up to a gear shift, and this is just showing you the direction that things are going. As before, I can flick a lever and I can turn the direction, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise, very simple. And as before, I can hit a button and allow it to change things on the same item which ultimately kind of serves the same effect as a, as a lever here. But why would I want to do this? Well, because of one specific reason, and that is going to be this here. Let's grab a redstone link and hook it up, and we're going to put a power toggle latch for frequency 1 so that it identifies with that. Then we're going to sneak right-click on this and make it receive. And then when we have this happening, we can remotely turn this thing on and off as we want from any number of these redstone links. So I could have another one over here and it can have, uh, let's put a button next to it. And then I'm going to put the frequency one on it. And as before, I can remotely turn this off from here. So from the bottom of an elevator shaft, I can change it. And from the top of an elevator shaft, I can change it. That's the idea here. So you're probably going to want to keep an eye on this because these are going to be pretty darn key. You don't have to have the redstone link for some of the stuff that we're going to be doing, but it is very useful for elevators uh, if you're going to be using them for yourself to get transported. But if you're just using them for quarrying, you don't really necessarily need them. So let's start off with elevators. Now, I currently have here a redstone link hooked up to a pumpkin, a very big pumpkin with a window. That's right. Uh, so let's let's actually show you a little bit more. I have a rope pulley hooked up here, which a rope pulley is just some kind of wool and site casing plates and some shafts. And it will allow you to grab onto things. Now, it, it comes down and drops a rope when given some kind of rotational force and will latch onto that single block. Now, if that block is stickied with, say, some super glue, which, as before, some kind of slime, iron plate, which I've shown you how to make slime. I've even shown you how to make some iron. Um, you can actually do this by stickying all this stuff. Now, let me grab some super glue. And in fact, I'm going to go into spectator mode. There we go. And then when I go into these pumpkins, you'll start seeing, look how much sticky stuff is in here. It's holding so much of this thing together. It's ridiculous. So I've ultimately created a giant connected entity that is this pumpkin. All right, I'm back in uh, creative mode here. So when I use this, the redstone link connected to the power toggle latch hooked up to a gear shift, I can actually turn it on and off. Now to give an example, let's hit this button. There we go, goes up, comes back down. Pretty darn cool. Now, if I didn't have this in place, let's have this go all the way up. 
and therefore yeah, yeah so you can see it's it's sticky there but you start off with your rope pulley and it can drop down and latch on to something so uh, I don't actually have a button up at this end but if I click this button you'll probably see it start dropping and then it grabs onto it and then the whole bumpkin will go up so you just need to have the block that it's attached to sticky to everything else now in this case I have a little bit of some interest connected to this it's a really simple setup it's it's uh, a little bit simpler than my old setup of elevator on the uh, the previous versions of create it involves a couple of these windmills so you notice that the, I have two windmills hooked up to this now you can power this with multiple methods I'm just showing you a rather simple way of doing it especially if it's an elevator it's probably going to be up and you want it to be like rather concealed this is really uh, small <laughs> so to speak if you wanted to you could just go with one of these let's turn them both off there we go so I have the one in place let's get rid of this one and it's overstressed right now see it's it's saying it's 512 overstressed so if you take one of these a rotation speed controller hook it up to a large cogwheel you can therefore have this start rotating plenty but you need to have the speed manageable there we go 96 and it's still got a little bit more I could probably bump that up a tiny bit more let's try that can I get up to 128 there we go I think that's probably as much as I can get yep that's the highest stress I can get it's 128 rpms and if I were to switch this lever you'll see it comes up at a pretty recent decent rate uh, and to give you an idea of this if I'm inside and I click on this there you go you do get a little bit of a jump <laughs> and you won't take any damage from any of these even at 256 speed I found which I put some seats in here so if you really wanted to you could click on there and, and go up in this method but it's pretty darn fun <laughs> but I did find that if you wanted to get up to 256 it's actually not that bad you just take another windmill bearing pop it on the other side let me stop this one so I can grab this a sail frame of some sort on here or piece of wool depends on what you'd like to use and then you have two of them but you do have to have both of them running in order to get that extra stress you notice now that the stress has an extra 512 which allows us to boost this all the way up to maximum speed of 256 so when we flick this lever now it goes at a lot faster rate and that, that's just really cool one way that you can do it uh, rather compact it will require some brass in this case and of course you're going to need it for the uh, redstone links anyway but if you wanted to go with something like a quarry elevator now this you can get low tech and it will help you get those materials that you're seeking it doesn't have to have one of these hooked up to it I just have this here as an example uh, so let me grab this get rid of it we'll put down a regular old button and we've got our good old powered toggle latch and a gear shift hooked up to three water wheels now this is going to give it a standard 16 rpms to start with and a little bit of stress to work on top of that I took one of these a windmill bearing and I just popped it at the end at the end here and put of course a sail frame and when you click on this it gives it a lot of stress to work with so you can actually power up the level of it now if you don't want to use this let's turn that off and I have this set in place here it just needs to be hooked up to one of these a rope pulley which I believe right here I even showing you 16 rpms and 768 stress units just from the water wheels if I take these out put that in place and then I now have a rope pulley turn this on it will slowly go down now in this case you're probably wondering what I've got here that's going to be these the mechanical drills which look like this on the underside here as you can see but as before I took a lot of sticky glue and then I stuck them together whoops not like that more like this <laughs> so that they would all attach and that's the back side that you're seeing of these now if you want you can use alternate uh, different kinds of uh, attaching methods but I just found this to be rather simple and expandable you don't even have to have it this big you know you could just have it go to where you have available resources you just have a few of these available and then when you click on this whoops like I said you have to make sure that they're all stuck together if they're not then well you're gonna run into exactly what I just did where some of it goes down put some chests on here and you're gonna get a whole bunch of goodies as before you're gonna be able to uh, put these down 
See if I can sneak and place all of these. I can. Excellent. So that should help expand it. And it, then you can expand as you want, make the quarry even bigger. Now this speed that it goes at while there's uh, blocks underneath is relatively slow. Uh, for instance, let me just put a little bit of dirt underneath here. Turn this on. And you can see stuff goes down really slow. Uh, I think I've messed up some of my stickified stuff. All right, there we go. I think I've got everything stickied now. But you, you did notice that it was rather slow. And if it were to make this giant mine shaft, it would be a really kind of, I don't know, you're like, cool, it's doing its thing, but it's doing it really slow. Well, you can max that out just by adding this windmill on here and increasing the speed because you just gave it the option of adding a lot of stress. Uh, now, what I mean by that, if I turn off the windmill and I start upgrading these cogs by adding in some extra bits here. Let's put this on the side and then we're going to put this on here and then we're going to go up on the top here. And you know, when you step these things up, they end up getting pretty darn big or they can at least. Uh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Let's put this one here. And then we can go the side, here, and there. That is way too much stress for it. In fact, I believe it's what? Yeah, way overstressed. 320. And this is maximum speed, so it's not actually going to make it. Uh, so what we need to do is give it some stress units. That's what the windmill's for. You add that on there, and suddenly we've got extra stress that we can deal with, and a maximum speed of 256. Now this is just to keep things cheap. You don't have to use water wheels at all. It just helps increase the speed starting with 16. You can uh, opt for more windmills if you want and just have them all hooked up to this and step them up as well. But I just found this to be quite entertaining. And don't forget, you, j you, you could just simply do this. You can even move your, your rope pulley around provided that you have the right stuff. Let's move this one out of the way. We don't want that one anymore because it's going too slow. I move it over here, it's at 256, and then it just needs to be, well, activated. So let's do this, switch this down, holy cow, that goes fast, zoom, and then it will go all the way down and mine your stuff. And it's not going to mine that fast, to give, to give you an example, let's bring this back up. I'll actually put down a few blocks once it's done, but it works also as an elevator of sorts. <laughs> so let's put down... Uh, of these here so we've got a couple layers and then when we click this you can see though the first layer it starts with it will probably skip a few blocks but then after that it's fine and it will just mine everything out till kingdom come <laughs> now if we want to make this a little bit more uh i want to get to the bottom and use this as a way of transport that's when you'd start to need using uh brass now of course this is just an example of all the things i got in a modded world I got, what, 11 iron, I got some copper, got some vintium, because I've got some magic mods in here and stuff, some some elemental craft inner crystals and such. Got some fiery glass from druid craft, and geodes from tetra, all sorts of fun stuff. It's all mixed in here, plus some coal. Uh, so, and then if you want to expand it, you can just, you know, sneak right click, and the item that you just did that with goes back into your inventory. There we go. I have my mechanical drill. And then you can always expand it out on the edge. As long as you have your uh, rope pulley attached to these things, you should be able to, you know, move it over if you so desire. And don't forget if you, let me jump up here on this edge, sneak while placing, it will place it in the opposite angle that you are facing instead of it facing you. Now, if you wanted to, like I said, turn this into an elevator, in that case, you will probably need a redstone link because those are kind of required to make things work top and bottom. So let's take this. We're going to put mechanical drill in frequency one, and then we're going to go all the way down. And in this case, I'm going to, let's put a button here as well so that I have this in, actually I don't need to because there's, there's a lever right there. I can just flick the lever up here. So where I'm at right now should be fine. I'm going to stand on the chests though. <laughs> And these are also stickied in place. But if you flick this, I did do a little bit of an airdrop there. And when I get to the bottom, you do have to be cautious that you're not, you know, going into lava. That would be very bad. But if I take this, put it in place, put a button down, click here, it should work if I had remembered to turn that into a receiving signal at the top. Let me go fix that. 
There we go, and by sneak right clicking, I turn that into a receiving signal. So now, when I press this button all the way at the bottom, it then transmits to the top, and you have yourself a quarry elevator. And you can get to the bottom and see what it is that you want. It's kind of a, a, a straight way of getting down there. You don't have to build stairs or anything like that. Um, but I thought that you guys might enjoy this. It's a little bit of an update to my previous videos because a lot of the power has changed and uh, it kind of gives you an idea of how you can step things up cheaply like in this uh, or you can go with a little bit more of an expensive uh, pumpkin option like there is behind me. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to come visit us on Twitch. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Help us spread the mischief, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.